안녕하세요여러분한국인들과카르단어를이어주는다리코리아풀입니다오늘은 IOG 에서공개한5월개발보고영상요약과더불어미스릴기술이무엇인지그리고무엇이기대되는지개발자관점에서보는코리아풀의의견을말씀드리도록하겠습니다미스릴은지분증명방식의시스템이보증해주는정보를빠르게검증하고신뢰하며사용할수있는기술입니다우선개발보고영상에서소개된미스릴을짧게요약해보자면미스릴은블록체인의특정데이터를지분에비례해서선택된서명자들이데이터를보증하고보증된데이터를보관하고손쉽게배포하는시스템입니다6월쯤미스릴기술을오픈소스로공개할예정이며커뮤니티의베타테스트와테스트넷에서테스트를거친후충분한데이터를얻고안정적으로작동된다면메인넷에출시할예정입니다 IOG 에서설명한미스릴기술보고를시청하기에앞서미스릴기술이왜필요한지그리고미스릴이어떻게작동하는지설명해드리겠습니다카르다노와같은탈중앙화시스템은하나의네트워크안에서많은정보가전달되고공유됩니다이러한시스템은타인이제공한정보를어떻게신뢰하고사용할수있는지가가장큰문제입니다예를들어카르다노의블록체인데이터는블록하나하나에담겨진모든트랜잭션이순서대로실행된결과값입니다제일첫블록부터마지막블록까지모든데이터의내용이중요하기때문에코리아풀같은스테이크풀을새로실행하거나다이달로스같은풀로드월렛을사용하려면블록체인에담긴모든기록을순서대로다운받아야만합니다그리고블록체인최신상태의유효성을검증하기위해서는블록체인의가장첫블록부터마지막블록까지순서대로직접검증해야만합니다최신상태의유효성을검증하기위해서다른누군가를통해검증하지않고모든검증절차를온전히독립적으로이루어냅니다블록체인전체데이터는 60GB 가넘어갈정도로용량의크기도크지만매번새블록을받을때마다검증해야하므로새로카르다노노드를실행하기에는오랜시간이걸립니다다이달로스만보더라도새로다이달로스를설치하고실행하면반나절정도의시간이소요되고시간이지나고더많은블록이생성될수록이시간은더길어질것입니다반대로요로이와이터널같은라이트월렛사용자들은 UI 에서보여주는모든정보를어떻게 100% 믿고사용할수있을까요방금전에말씀드렸듯이블록체인정보는오로지긴시간을소요해서모든블록을하나하나검증해야만온전히신뢰하고사용할수있습니다라이트월렛사용자들은요로이와이터널서비스가보여주는정보를쉽게검증할방법이없지만빠른속도와 UX 를위해어느정도위험을감수하고지갑을사용할수밖에없습니다이러한문제점을해결하기위해나온기술이미스릴입니다지금까지는새로카르다노노드를설치할때블록체인의각블록을하나씩다운로드하면서하나하나직접검증해야만했다면미스릴을사용하면보증된블록체인전체데이터를한번에다운받아바로사용할수있게됩니다모든블록을검증하지않고동봉된보증서만단한번검증하면충분합니다그리고라이트월렛사용자들은요로이와이터널이보여주는내지갑장고를신뢰하지않고미스리를통해보증된블록체인지갑장고를직접적으로사용해다이달러스와같은레벨의안정성을누릴수있게됩니다이처럼미스리는지분증명방식의시스템이보증해주는정보를빠르게검증하고신뢰하며사용할수있는기술입니다미스릴기술은세가지요소로이루어져있습니다 Mithril Signer, Mithril Aggregator, Mithril Client 입니다 Mithril Signer, 미스릴서명자는데이터의스냅샷을만들고서명합니다예를들어 60GB 가넘는카르다노블록체인데이터를스냅샷한정보를만들고서명을합니다 Mithril Aggregator, 미스릴취합자는서명자들이서명한정보를취합해보증서를만들고보증된정보를저장합니다그리고이보증된정보를사용자에게전달하는역할을하게됩니다 Mithril Client, 미스릴사용자는취합자가보관하고있는보증된블록체인데이터를다운로드하고보증서를단한번검증하면바로데이터를사용할수있습니다이제5월 IOG 기술보고영상에서미스릴기술에관해설명된부분을보여드리겠습니다 Now, hello everyone. My name is Roy, and I am a project manager for a number of projects at IOG, including what we are here to talk about today, Mitral. For those of you who may not be familiar with Mitral, it is a stake-based threshold signature scheme for proof of stake protocols. To share an update on where we are, is the architect of the program or not daily? Thanks for joining me in this update. So to get us started, can you give us an overview of the overall goal of this project? The goal of Mitril is that, as you know, um, running a kernel node 
is currently the only way to interact with Cardano in a truly trustless way because it's a network of Cardano nodes which gives the Cardano consensus protocol its properties like safety and the ability to, to reach a consensus. But as we all know, booting and synchronizing Cardano node is a slow um, is a process that it requires downloading and verifying all the blocks comprising the chain one after another. And the goal of Mithril is to leverage the existing Cardano network of uh, SPOs to provide certified snapshots of the chain state. Those snapshots could be in different form. Uh, the simplest one would be, of course, to provide a snapshot that would be suitable to run the Cardano as is, what we call the Cardano, the nodes pure DB. But we could imagine also providing snapshots, certified snapshots of the full UTXO set, which would make it possible for light wallets to rely on those kind of certificates. And the interesting thing is that those certificates uh, produced by Mitrial, the Mitrial protocol, have the same security properties that the underlying consensus that drives Cardano, which is the Ouroboros Prowse protocol, which means that Mitrial clients have the same trustless guarantees as normal Cardano node users would. And an important thing is that we want to be able to provide this feature uh, on top of the network and without interfering with the normal operation of the Cardano network. Uh, in a non non-intrusive way, so it would Mithril will strictly be an additional feature and, and provide additional service on top of the existing network. Thank you, Arnold. Can you explain us in more detail how Mithril works? Mithril works thanks to some clever cryptographic uh, scheme, which takes into account the amount of stake each owner owns to produce signatures. So at some interval, uh, some predefined intervals, the stake owners will attempt to sign the currency of the chain. Depending on the mutual parameters and the amount of stake they own, they will be able to issue one or more signatures. One analogy that you can you, you can uh, use to, to think about it is the lo a lottery. So depending on the amount of stake, you, you, will, you draw tickets from a lottery. And depending on the amount of stakes you draw, so depending on, the, for example, on the amount of tickets you, you bought, your chances of having a winning ticket are higher. And so this is the same for, for Mithril, and this is the same ID. The thing is that you can potentially have several winning tickets. Once enough winning tickets have been drawn over all the stake pool owners, then a certificate can be issued, which uh, provides a certified signature of the current state of the chain from uh, a share, some share of the stake owners, some, some predefined share. And this is what we call a snapshot. And now the snapshot is made available to clients and the clients can verify it. They can verify these snapshots by checking the aggregate signatures from all the lottery winners, so to speak, and so from all the signers and check that they are actually legit. And potentially um, this check rests on checking also that the stake distribution is, is, is legit and the stake distribution is correct and this is done through checking the chain of certificate down to some general certificate. And once they have verified the validity of the certificate, then now they can just download the snapshot itself, bootstrap the node without having to go through the hassle of verifying everything. Now, I know that in the Cardano Summit, we introduced Metro. And since then, the team has made a great progress, especially in the Metro aggregator component. So can you tell us a little more, please? The first step was to uh, implement the needed cryptographic primitives, uh, which rely on yeah, somewhat advanced mathematics and which, uh, which were not available out of the box in standard primitives that are available in the market. This library, which we call Mithril Core, is, it is now more or less feature complete. So the whole, the, the foundation part is ready. What we are currently working on um, is the first version of the, what we call the Mithril network, so to speak, which is with the, the goal of making it fast and easy to bootstrap a Cardano node. There are a lot of moving parts to get right. We have this notion of a signer. The signer part will be run by SPOs and res responsible for issuing signatures of snapshots, so drawing the lottery tickets, as I explained before. We have the Mithril client on the other side, which will be the one that will validate the certificates and downloading snapshots. And an important role is played by also by the Mithril aggregator. So the Mithril aggregator is the party that is responsible for aggregating signatures to create certificates that will be used by clients. And also, even more importantly, the aggregator will be responsible for storing and distributing the uh, snapshots themselves. These snapshots are, are somewhat huge, like tens of gigabytes, really, for a main chain. And potentially, I mean, we all know that this will keep growing over time. Uh, so signing and developing those is, is, a, is a problem which 
which which you can imagine is just like delivering a movie, like a high resolution movie uh, in four Ks. It's also several tens of gigabytes, or potentially several tens of gigabytes. So how do you do it efficiently? And the the aggregator really it has a very important role in making that efficient for all the clients. What we are doing now is. For the sake of simplicity and for really the first the first step is to implement this aggregator in a centralized way and to have the mutual signers and the mutual aggregator communicate with each other directly through some, some calls. But the end goal is really to have a fully decentralized industry solution. And it's something that we have already uh, started thinking about and will be working in next steps, this first MVP, is really to have the signers and the aggregators work in a decentralized way so that New aggregators and could be easily built up and with different ways of distributing those snapshots of aggregate and signatures and delivering the value to the clients, potentially with uh, innovative schemes, uh, distribution schemes. So think IPFS or, or even BitTorrent, uh, if you think about it, could be used for that and with, with different business uh, models and different incentives. All of these sound really, really exciting, Arnold. Thank you. So... What is on the horizon for the next phase of Mitro? We are in the final stages of cleaning up the code in preparation for open sourcing the whole library. So we plan to open source it after the conference and somewhere around June, and also provide some user-friendly documentation to help everyone get started on the on Mitro. The short-term goal is to reach a stable enough state of the system that we can put it in the hands of the community members for beta testing on testnet. In a few months from now, once we have enough, once we have gathered enough momentum and enough experience from running on the testnet, then yeah, the ne next stage will be general availability on the mainnet. So for more information about Mitral, check the Summit video or check the link below. Thank you. Mitral은 매우 현실적이고 실용적인 기술이 될 거라 생각됩니다. 앞으로 더욱더 커져만 갈 블록체인 데이터를 관리하기 힘들어진다면 코리아풀 같은 탈중앙화 네트워크를 유지할 노드들이 줄어들게 되고 네트워크의 안정성이 낮아질 수 있습니다. 하지만 미스릴 기술을 사용해 이미 검증된 정보를 바로 사용할 수 있는 여건이 된다면 노드를 운영하기 수월해지고 네트워크의 안정성도 높아질 것입니다. 스테이킹풀 외에는 지갑에서 가장 이득을 많이 볼수 있습니다. 쉽게 미리 보증된 블록체인 정보를 다운로드할 수 있기에 다이달로스 같은 풀 로드 지갑을 사용하는 분들의 UX가 매우 개선될 거고 보증된 Full UTXO Set, 즉 블록체인 잔고 정보를 얻고 바로 사용이 가능해 현존하는 요로이나 이터널 같은 라이트 월렛 서비스를 맹신하지 않고도 지분 증명 방식 시스템이 보증해주는 정보를 빠르게 직접 검증하고 쉽게 사용할 수 있어 다이달로스와 같은 레벨의 안정성을 라이트 지갑도 누릴 수 있게 됩니다. 또한 미스릴 기술은 블록체인 상태를 순간적으로 검증할 방법을 제공하기에 사이드 체인과의 정보 교류에도 도움이 될 거라 예상합니다. 오늘 영상이 도움되셨다면 한국인들을 위해 최저 수수료로 운영되고 있는 코리아풀 스테이킹풀에 위임하셔서 많은 응원 부탁드리겠습니다. 지금까지 한국인들과 카르다노를 이어주는 달이 코리아풀이었습니다. 여러분의 구독과 좋아요는 영상 제작에 큰 힘이 됩니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.